Hello everyone and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 from a flash drive to a computer. Now assuming that you have installed the software on the flash drive, the first step is of course, the computer must be turned off. You insert the flash drive in the computer and then you turn on the computer then we immediately press the boot menu button you don't need to go to the setup menu we will go directly to the boot menu so we can choose our flash drive now the boot menu looks like this now for dell the boot menu button is f12 so when you immediately turn on your computer and start pressing on F12 a few times, a menu should open up looking like this. Now in other computers, that button is different. Some, it might be F10, some it might be F11. It depends on your manufacturer, but most of the time it is F12. After pressing F12, the boot menu opens up and asks me where do you want to boot from so of course we want to boot from the usb flash drive that we installed windows on all right so we will choose that and my usb is sandisk so you see it says here uefi boot sandisk now if your computer does not support uefi you will see it as a legacy sandisk or whatever name of your flash drive you actually have or installed the windows on. So press enter, it's of course loading files. So after pressing the enter button, you must see this screen. Loading files and then the Windows 10 logo. All right guys, now we arrived at this window. This is the Windows setup window. If the screen is flickering, I do apologize. That's because I am taking a live video of this. So please bear with me with the quality. All right, guys. So let's click next on this. Now we are going to click on install now. All right, guys. Now, if the installation process takes longer than usual, like if, for example, you arrive at this page and it took 10 minutes, just know that you might be having bad sectors on your hard drive, AKA your hard drive might be failing. Consider buying a new hard drive. Let's click on accept the license terms and click on next. And we're going to click on custom install windows only. It says advanced here, do not use the first option, use the second option. So this is a freshly installed hard drive. It, it's saying that it's on a located space. That means this hard drive has never been used before. We will wait for it to calculate a little bit. The process should take a few seconds. Um, if it takes any longer, just know that the hard drive is in bad shape. So now you are on the hard drive partition area. This area over here where you can partition the hard drive and start the installation of Windows. So let's say you wanted to have two hard drives. All you gotta click on is new. And then you can, for example, divide this number into two and you can have two partitions for this hard drive, a C or D drive, for example. But for this demonstration, we are going to just click on next and the system will create its own drives for it to run and you'll only have a C drive. Now, you can divide them into two partitions later on after the Windows is installed on the computer. But for now, we are just going to continue with the installation normally. So just click on next and you'll see what will happen in a second. And there you have it. Now the Windows process has started the installation. Now, if you like this video so far, please consider subscribing to our channel. Now, in some cases, you might get an error like this. This is a normal error for the computer to be trying to boot from the flash drive first through legacy, and it will give this error. I just wanted to put it out there that this is normal. The moment your computer restarts from that installation, and just remove the flash memory and let it continue to load. So let me restart the computer and show you. There we 
are, a new fresh installation of Windows 10. On the first page you choose the language, over here you choose the keyboard layout, I'm just going to choose US, I'm not going to add any layout, over here you can add any other layout like for example Arabic or maybe Hindi or any other second language that you have and you can use off of your keyboard and your keyboard will start typing in that language when you press on alt and shift together so we're going to skip this over here it will ask you about your network you can either sign into your network or if you have an ethernet plug then you can plug in the ethernet and i'm going to do this i recommend this way if you don't have a microsoft account you can just use a normal local account by clicking i don't have internet now over here if you wanted to set up a microsoft account i recommend continue with limited setup so over here you can type in your username or whatever name you have click on next and you can continue with the setup so there you have it guys this was the process of installing windows 10 from a flash drive if you like this video and it helped you out please consider subscribing give us a thumbs up and see you again next time